Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. We are in the XJ today, on the way to the shop. My dad is currently getting the motor out of the TJ, so we're gonna go over there and help him, help him, since I'm pretty useless with this stuff anyways. Um, but I think he's been working on it already for like two or three hours, so I went back to bed after he called me because I'm an asshole. But we're gonna help with what we can. I'll see you guys when we get to the shop. All right, we're gonna do a zero to 60 pull. The 60 is like right here, so ready, set. Part of the reason why I missed the XJ. I missed being able to hop in it, run it to redline, floor it, beat the shit out of it, and not worry about it. And it sounds good while doing it. It's freaking great. I did miss it, but compared to the TJ, the TJ is just obviously it's just a better daily driver. Besides the fact that it has rod knock now. But besides that, the TJ is nicer to drive. This is just the this is a beater. She's a beater. And I love it. And it's reliable. Look at all this flex, baby. Look at that. That's just... Oh, and it looks so good doing it. Doesn't it? It just works so well. It's such a beast. Such a beast. But we're at the shop. So... We're gonna get back in this B I T C H. Oh, that's a long jump. Well, guys, my dad got the motor out of the TJ. We went and picked up a valve cover gasket for the new motor and a pilot bearing because this motor does not have one because it came out of an automatic Jeep um, so we got to swap everything over from my motor since it's a manual Jeep onto this motor to the new motor um, I don't know if I said this in any previous videos but the motor going into the TJ I got for $700 um, it has a 90 day warranty on it. It came from a junkyard and they test all their motors before pulling them. So it is guaranteed to run. Um, it has 92,000 miles on it and I am 90% sure it came out of a 2005 Jeep anyways. But my dad got everything out of the TJ and I would say less than two hours. I don't know. By the time I got there, it was already coming out there's two bolts that needed to be taken off and the motor was out and my dad was bouncing back between helping my brother and playing with his dog and working on my jeep so i cannot stress enough how grateful i am for my dad he gave me my xj back for christmas he bought it off of me and then just gave it back to me for christmas and now two months later not even two months later a month later after giving me my XJ back, he's putting in a new motor for me in the TJ. So I know he's going to watch us, and I just wanted to know how grateful I am for him. And honestly, one of the best mechanics I've ever seen work on anything. After running around to multiple different stores, about an hour and a half of driving, this is the old motor. Look at these rockers. That one's tight, that one's tight. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Those are good. But everything is swapped over onto the new motor. And it's getting ready to go in.
the motor is in the motor mounts are tight I'm currently working on getting everything buttoned back up and together f and mint is yours recording Well, 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 YouTube, look where we're at. We're in the TJ, no check engine light. Just took it for a little stroll around the park. It is good. It still does a weird stutter thing, but I'm almost positive now that it has to do with the aftermarket throttle body and intake that is on it. So we're gonna move the XJ because this needs to be driven, make sure everything's good on it. But. It's quiet, but she's not knocking. She's not really picking. She's working. So we gotta, we're going to uh, park the XJ. Oh, it's cold. But we're gonna park the XJ, let the XJ sit again. Oh, I will miss that though. Well guys, we put the motor in Saturday. It is currently Monday. I have put about 100 miles on the Jeep with the new swap. No check engine lights, no knocks, no ticks. The only issue is I think the throw out bearing in the transmission slash clutch is starting to go bad. Um, there's a little bit of a, a squeak coming from there. But other than that, the Jeep's running mint. Um, the only thing is that, like I stated earlier, but it has an aftermarket um, throttle body on it, and it has another uh, aftermarket whole intake system, not counting the intake manifold. So when you give it 100% throttle, it has a little bit of a stutter, and basically it's just, it's getting too much air that the Jeep slash computer doesn't really know what to do with it. So. We are going to swap on the stock uh, throttle body and see if that fixes the issue, which it more than likely will. So I just need to get a gasket for that and throw the, a stock throttle body on it. And that'll probably fix that issue. But other than that, I mean, the Jeep runs absolutely phenomenal. I can't, I literally cannot express my gratitude, my gratefulness, whatever thankful word there is out there towards my dad like six hours in and out jeep was done it perfectly fine now um obviously though the jeep itself has 163,000 miles on it the motor had 92,000 miles on it so the difference between there is 71,000 miles so we have a motor in the jeep that should run a very long time as long as it's taken care of which it'll be taken care of but it might be beat on. Um, I know that sounds dumb to say, but if you count off-roading as a beating on the motor, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna get it because it's a Rubicon and there will be a lift put on this soon. Um, I haven't decided if I wanna throw the two inch blocks in yet, just to stuff the 33s on here or not, or if I should just wait and go with a four inch lift right off the bat, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed the little bit of the motor swap that i got um if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button down below we are super super close to hitting 1600 subs and even obviously not even closer but we're close to 2000 subs so let's make 2020 a great year hopefully the tj stays running well the xj it's running well. My brother is actually driving that because he blew the transfer case up and his XJ literally blew it up. I mean, like, the T case is cracked. The chains are hanging out of it. But, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.